<laughs> My friends at NASA and ESA. You would think they would learn from their mistakes, but no, they keep making the same mistakes over and over again. But hey, don't worry, I'm here to help. I figured all this stuff out and I know how to fix this problem. First let me show you the problem. This. Team Peak Spacewalk, which is triumph dampened by leaking helmet crisis. Major Tim Peak Spacewalk was terminated today after a bubble of water appeared in the helmet of crewmate Tim Copra. Again? Come on man, I was thinking NASA had this problem fixed. Outside of the spacesuits they are having problems with air bubbles and inside the spacesuit they are having problems with water bubbles. That's kind of funny. Despite the mishap, the US Space Agency said the spacewalk had been a success, because it returned full power to the space station for the first time since November. Mission Control Royce Renfew said the primary objective is to get the crew back inside the hatch safe and that's exactly what we did today. The crew was not in any danger. It is the third time that astronauts have reported water inside their helmets. In 2013 a spacewalk was abandoned after less than an hour when Parmitano's helmet began filling with fluid. The astronaut said he feared he would drown after his nose became blocked. This is a serious problem. We have to help NASA before an astronaut dies. Around 50 ml of fluid was found in Tim Copra's helmet and its absorbent padding was swollen with liquid. Sometimes I wonder if NASA watches my videos. Do you wonder about the absorbent padding? I showed this clip in one of my recent videos. It was also about this problem. Now I thought one of the uh, solutions that NASA came up with was really clever. The idea of, well we need to put something that absorbs water on the back of your head. Hey, let's use a diaper. Mm -hmm. I thought that's a clever solution to this problem. Yeah, pretty neat. They also came up with the snorkel idea too, yeah. you know, it take and hey, let's use a diaper. Mm -hmm. I thought that's a clever solution to this problem. Hey, let's use a diaper. Mm -hmm. So, I think the problem here is pretty obvious. Do you understand it already? Do you get it? Think about it. What do men do if they are far away from home, with no wives? They drink beer, right? And what happens if you had a few beers and you go for a walk outside? You know what follows. Anyway, NASA, you're very clever. You almost found a solution. But you are using your diapers. Wrong. You can hire me. I can help you guys. Please contact me. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.